Say good morning. <laughs> Is it just me? Or do you guys hate starting a workout? Like in the beginning of it? I hate it. It's like my muscles are so tight yet. Finally done. But I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking how I get my motivation. It's all about pushing yourself, getting outside your comfort zone to make a difference. So that's what I'm doing. Did I wanna go on a run today? No, absolutely not. I did not wanna go on a run today. My love handles wanted to, but Sarah did not. But now I'm glad I did, because I feel really good. It starts my day out fresh, hop in the shower, get cleaned up, and it's like you have energy all day long. Plus it helps curb your appetite. Did you go on a run with mama? Yes, you did. And you obviously chewed your bib. Can you guys see Tebow looking in the pool? I wonder what's in that pool. Let's take a look. Hey, mama. It's a little toad. He's whooped. He's been there a long time, you can tell. There you go. All better. Somebody found their boy. Clearly all of that talking wore her out. I'm sitting around here waiting for her to wake up because I still have to go get Rob's phone fixed. I want to go to the farm and see everybody. And then I have my friend's baby shower tonight from 6 to 8 and it's 2 o'clock. So I'm kind of pushing it a little bit. Look who's finally up. Did you take a good nap? Yeah, you're happy now. Oh my goodness, stretch it out, little girl. Well, since it's almost three o'clock, we are just gonna head straight to the ranch. As I slept on my neck plenty last night. And I just wanna point out that this shirt is a size small. I fit in a size small again. I don't think you guys realize, but I gained 60 pounds being pregnant, 60. And I'm only a few pounds away from getting back to where I used to be. That's a lot of weight. I mean, at the end of my pregnancy, I was wearing two XLs, like double XLs. That's insane. Going from a small to a double XL, now back to a small, it's like the change your body makes. Oh, thanks. So I am gonna grab my Starbucks drink and then I'm gonna head to the farm to see Joey, Stacy, Carly, and the crew, and, and Rob, he's out there too. Hey, wonderful Rob. Uh, there's Joey and Cliff. There. Hello. You guys know Joey and Cliff from previous videos on Dear Me for Dinner. She's gonna come up here. Pow! Karate kick. There's Rob. She's gonna go karate there's kick. Hi. Worked out good, Cliff. Thank you. It's almost five o'clock, and I totally forgot that I have to be at Jen's baby shower at six, and it takes like 20 minutes to get home from here. So I gotta book it, and I still have to do my hair. It's been in a hat all day, ah! Okay, I have 25 minutes to get this into baby shower mode. Wish me luck. I'm eating a granola bar because I don't know if they're gonna have food there or what. I'm not really sure. But I know I am hungry. I do know that. How do you guys like all that baby slobber on my shirt?
under five minutes. Change, freshen up, and we're out the door. You know what is funny? It's 5.45, and I don't even know where I'm going. Plus, one thing I forgot, I always forget to add time on for her. Like, I have yet to get her an address and get her cute, which doesn't take long, but that's an extra five minutes that I don't have. I'm not a blush person, so I just use bronzer as blush. Okay. We're ready. Well, I'm ready. The baby's not yet. Yeah, I'm ready. <gasps> yeah, I see. I'm all ready, Mama. It's 5.58. My GPS just said I'll be there in 10 minutes. So I'm going to be casually late. What helped me up was the fact that I had to feed the dogs. Then I got in the car and realized I forgot the gift. So I had to run back in, get the gift. And I have yet to fill out her card. So I'm gonna have to fill that out either at a stop and go light or wait till I get there. Either way, I'm gonna be late. Okay, I just made it. The baby's crying and my pen doesn't work for my, my book that I'm supposed to give to her. I'm like, ah, a hot mess. Aria literally just had a breakdown. I had people <laughs> coming up to the car asking if I needed help, but we're good. She just wants mama. But as you can see, my pen's not working. So I have a half written card, well, a half written book card, and I am now 15 minutes late, but there's still people sitting outside talking, so I'm not too worried. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you today and thank you for this glorious, I uh, can't say it, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for Jen's celebration of life. Yes, yeah, celebration. <laughs> Let the party start! Hi. Don't worry, I'm going to be filming it all. Hi! This is the first time she met Arya and she came to my show! Hey, you want to hold her? Gemma? Yes! Oh. Are you going to meet me tonight? Can I have a girl? Notice it, I like girls! That's Jen. She's awesome. Hi! Hi, Rob! I love you! <laughs> Can you tell I met them ladies through Rob, my husband? The baby's passed out. This is the diaper game where they put chocolate in the diaper and you have to smell it and guess what kind of chocolate it is. But it looks like baby doo-doo in there. And I just said the word baby Diaper number two. Let's see what we got. Ooh. That's great. Definitely Kit Kat. That's Kit Kat. Number three, definitely Kit Kat. Apparently the dirty diaper game rubbed off on Aria because she just had a legit dirty diaper. The place that we're at doesn't have a changing table. So new mommies, you will find that some places just don't offer it. Thank God I have a truck because I just changed around my tailgate and it's a little private where we're at. But in other places, you just gotta get creative. So back into the baby shower we go. Before we find this out, I wanted to tell you guys all thank you so much for your support. <laughs> You're not supposed to start uh, like you know. make me cry. But the reason I want my mom to stand up here is a lot of you do not know. My dad is going to have open heart surgery oh. on July 6th. So I'm asking all my friends and everybody I love to please pray for my dad. It's been a lot going on. <laughs> Whatever the baby is, Especially now in our, in our life and everything that's going on, all we care about is it being healthy. That's right. And I, that's why I didn't care about knowing what it was. This is an extra, <laughs> extra special story. I'm going to read most of it, then Mommy is going to read. But this is a story of me. Before you were born, God began writing your extraordinary story. A boy or girl, what would you be? Then Mama read it. I did? Yes, this is your turn. I'm like shaking. Yes, hurry up, my paws are about to die. <laughs> uh, wait, Princess no. It's a girl! She just 
just found out with everybody else. So this is news to her too. My phone literally died the second I got all of the footage from when she just found out what she was having. So, time to go home, take care of the baby. I left early, I didn't even get to see her open gifts because Arya's getting hungry. So by the time I would have got all situated and fed her, everybody would be leaving and it would just be a hot mess. So I'm gonna head to the house, feed her and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me what you think, and I hope you are enjoying all of the videos.